Where's this? I'll go see which one it is. Well, guys, I'm not seeing which. I bet they moved. But we're over here at Crave right now. Uh, they've called us quite a few times. Uh, Kristen went in to see, to confirm which one. I'm not seeing a note. They normally tag them for us, but I bet they've moved already. So stick around. Okay guys, uh, they've confirmed that it's a Cherokee around the back. Oh. Okay, so I went in and I talked to management and they said that it has been there since last night. It's down here on the left. think about the back parking I guess. Mm -hmm. Normally every time we pick up something it's it's up front where the action's at they want to park. It's that green Cherokee there pulling. Okay, it does have this dent here. since last night oh God. yeah yeah so they yeah really they're, they're very lenient you know but they i mean they do keep track and stuff but as long as you got me i was here 10 minutes and they called so we hadn't got a transaction yet you know i'm like dang oh yeah on top of well it. see though you've got your phone number there yeah you know so i mean if well that's what problem, i said at least they called and didn't just yeah well we went in there and let the kids bowl and all that and we right. got a pass but i'm like dang when i saw it i'm like crap Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I mean, you've got your phone number there. So, you know, I mean, if there's a problem, they just call you, you know, but it's like some random thing's been sitting here overnight. It's got to go. That's the problem. They're not going to be happy, but oh well. Well, I mean, it happens all the time. Does it? <laughs> yeah. Take that risk, I guess, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, maybe you shouldn't do something you're not supposed to. That's why you've got to obey the law. That's right. Y'all have a good time. You, you too. too.
was wondering if my car got towed to y'all. It's a gray Ford Mustang 2012 V6. Uh, no, ma'am. All right. Somebody else is out towing. So that's the second call we've gotten, what, in the past 45 minutes? Uh, unknown caller. Everything auto? I was wondering if my car got towed to y'all. It was sitting at the Margaritaville Hotel. It's a gray Ford Mustang 2012 V6. Uh, no, ma'am. Was it Margaritaville there in Pigeon Forge? Yeah, the one uh, right as you come out of the island on the right, on the strip. Did you ask them who towed it? Yeah, I called and she says she has no clue. And I mean, it was sitting up there and I talked to the ladies and they said they wouldn't have it towed, but it's... Okay, no ma'am, it wasn't us. I'm sorry, you might try the uh, the Pigeon Forge Police Department. Okay, all right, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Or a repo. Or a repo. Just look at this, look. It's 8.10, Saturday night. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. Uh, we've got a, a good amount of police per, police presence. Um, but still, I would imagine overwhelming. Leave this little park. somebody calling in saying oh my car is stolen and they go through hours of paperwork and sending out information here and there and and coming to find out it's it's sitting on some guy's uh, lot or or the bank is repoed and it's back on the bank's lot it's it doesn't take it doesn't take a minute to call the local PD and and it's got them a little bit weary now where they're you know they're stopping me down the road to to see if we called it in and we call in our stuff and it and it works both ways it helps me as well because if um if i call it in then i know immediately if it's if it's stolen they're gonna they're gonna tell me immediately if it's stolen and it's not going to come back to our lot at that point it's going to go to the police impound lot and um it's a totally different procedure so you know it's uh it works it works both ways and it benefits both parties so uh call in your towaways and that's all i've got to say about that but um he's got that vehicle sold going to somebody else and we're, i mean he's got the title and i'm trying to go there to get him to grab the title um but i was gonna see if if the vehicle could be released to me since it's not really drivable and I've got to pretty much deliver it for them. Um, like what kind of paperwork I would need to bring to get that. I just need to know that it's it's the owner. So either the registration matches ID or somebody's name is physically in the buyer spot on the title and then that matches an ID. Okay. So the dude that's buying it, he is actually getting on a plane right now. 
I'm pretty much just come to pick it up. Um, the actual owner of it is Kid's dad, um, but it's the kid's car. It's just in his name, um, I guess, for insurance or whatever. But we're working on trying to get his dad to um, hand me the title for it. Um, if I just come there with the title, um, would that be sufficient enough for it? Because if we fill the information out on it for that other dude who's buying it, he's going to have to be there. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 just an open title, I, I couldn't. I'm sorry. It has to, I, I have to know physically it belongs to who I'm giving it back to. Um, so, yeah, the, the state makes me, makes me give it back to registered owners only. Okay. If, I mean, if I come there with a, a bill of sale, um, I mean, if I did a three way purchase on this vehicle and technically purchased it from dude and then let him, buy for me if I just came there with a bill of sale I mean would that work uh, if you've got it notarized maybe um, let me see here hang on just a second he's trying to jump through hoops to he's, he's telling you that he's not the owner so mm -hmm. you can't, now that he's already told you he's not oh, the yeah, owner oh yeah for sure yeah it's, it just makes it complicated man on the it has to be it has to be somebody that owns the vehicle I can't release it to somebody else that doesn't own it um, so, you know, like I said, if you want to, if you want to put a name in a, in a buyer spot on a title and it matches who's picking it up or registered registration, um, those are really the only two ways that I can, I can let it go to whoever it belongs to. Okay. So the kid who pretty much owns the vehicle, but like I said, it's in his dad's name, y'all were going to release it to him. Uh, he's not able to get up there if I can get him to, like, if he, if he calls, is that a way to get it? I mean, I, I know we're kind of in a pickle with it being on, uh, with it being on a Sunday. Yeah. Especially getting down. I mean, I, we can't re-register the vehicle to get it in my name to get it, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, I can get a piece of paper that's notarized and everything and get it typed up and or probably not typed up but I can write something up and get it notarized real quick it's just I want to make sure that that's not going to be an issue on it because if I go there's two or three routes with different kind of papers I can do mm -hmm. and uh, the easiest would be is just you know trying to figure out what would be the easiest for you to do because I mean I can pop up there with a pretty much power of attorney on the vehicle and it'd have to be released to me it's just those aren't the easiest on a um i guess on a tow yard they mm -hmm. don't really like to accept those very often but mm -hmm. you know those that's those those are usually the easiest forms to get on a vehicle yeah if um, um if dad if dad wants to come down and and uh, and pick it up that that's the easiest thing it sounds like if it's in dad's name you know dad needs to be the one to to slide down yeah. here and pick it up yeah he's he's not gonna do that I mean, because they're, they're, I, I need the address regardless so we can come and pick it up. Um, I mean, we can figure out the best way to come and get it. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, I can get I can get a piece of paper signed that pretty much allows what I'm going to do. I just want to make sure that that's not going to be an issue whenever I come there with that paper. Okay. It pretty much authorizes transportation and pickup of that vehicle. Because we've had to do that in the past. And like I said, it was a little bit of a headache. But at the end of the day, it was... I, you know, it was not and everything, so it was it was official documentation. It's just coming there with those kind of sheets. You know, it's yards yeah. don't really like those papers. Yeah, and and you got to understand, it's you know, it's it's our neck on the line. You know, we're like I said, the state requires us to release it to somebody that's that owns the vehicle you know if i if i give this back to somebody that it doesn't belong to and and then the owner comes up to me and says hey what'd you do with my car you know then i'm i'm obviously on the line for that stuff so it sounds like to me that if if dad owns it dad needs to pick it up you know i, I unless you're purchasing it from dad and like i said if you want to you want to put your name in the in the title for the buyer spot then those are our only two options right now dad are you having someone in the buyer spot on the title okay now like i said i can get that paper that authorizes the transportation and pickup of that vehicle and get his dad to sign off everything on it you know that still would be acceptable for a form that would have to be accepted i just want to make sure that that's not going to be a headache for for us you know what i mean 
Well, it sounds like it'll be a headache for sure. Uh, like, wh why won't Dad sign the title for for selling it if, if he's going to sign the, something else? I'm not the buyer. The buyer is the kid's friend who is flying out. I'm simply transporting it. Okay. Well, I mean, so, I it, like I said, those are those are our two options. Those are our two options. I don't I don't know what else, and and I'm not sure what <laughs> I'm not sure what you you've gotten yourself into for transporting. But I'm uh, those are our rules that we need to follow so okay sounds good let me make a phone call real quick um i'll see if we can get settled out okay. um, but yeah if you can shoot me the address for it real quick so we can at least get an idea where it's at sure. um so if we got a drag uh drag is that long uh then we'll do that okay all right thank you sir all right sounds good I have a vehicle of mine on your lot okay and so it's actually the vehicle's in my name but it's my son's vehicle okay the transmission or something broke on it late Friday night and he left it up there in Pigeon Forge in a parking lot and the next day when he came up there to get it, it got towed. I guess it got towed by you guys. Uh, which car was it? It's a Jeep Cherokee. Yes. Grand Cherokee. Yes. Champagne color. Uh-huh. So he's trying to find a way to get it off of your guys' lot today. Mm-hmm. And so I can't go up there with him. How can I give him permission to pick the vehicle up? Unfortunately, we have to match the uh, the registration, the name on the title with an ID. Um, so can I email that to you, or take a picture of it and send it with him? Um, is the is and it's your name on the title or on the yes. registration? Um, yes. If you can text it text a picture of your ID to this number here. Do you need the title or just my ID? Is there a registration in the vehicle that has your name on it? Is there a registration in the vehicle? Yeah. Yeah. It's in the glove box. Okay. Um, I'll need that. Is it, is it? I, because I need to match. I mean, obviously you can understand that I can't just release a vehicle to someone who says that it's their car. I have to have some no, sort I, of proof, you know, because if I did release it and you were like, well, hey, he wasn't supposed to have it. And I was like, well, I already gave it nope. back to him. You know what I mean? No, nope, I got that. Okay. So I'm going, I've got, I'm going to send you a picture of my name, but uh, I'm going to take the picture to where my driver's license number is blacked out. Is that, is that good? Yeah, we don't need a driver's license number. Yeah, no, I don't need a driver's license number. As long as it's your, your ID that has your name, your photograph, and I can match a, a name and a signature to the registration, then yeah, that's fine. Yep, hold on a second. I'm going to put you on speaker number seven. Paul. All right, I just sent it. Okay. Now, what's your name, first and last? Okay. Now, uh, what's... I, uh, who, whomever picks it up will need to show identification. Can you tell me the name of the person who's going to pick it up? And I can match their so, ID? Yes. Uh, his, his name is... Okay. And in the text, I give you written permission with his name okay. to pick it up. Okay. So I'm staying, uh, I'm staying on line with you, so I want to make sure the text can for Yes, I have all of that. Um, now, um, the cost is... Also, uh, we asked that they, if they're coming today, since there's not going to be anybody there at the lot, if they would give us a phone call 30 minutes before arrival, so we can try to have someone there at the gate when they get there. He said that's fine. He's standing right here with me. Yeah, that works. All right, yeah, just give us a phone call 30 minutes before you arrive, and... We will do our best to have someone there. If not, you may have to wait just a little bit. Uh, it just depends on what calls we're running at that time. Okay. Okay. Awesome. All thank right. you. And your name? My name is Kristen. Kristen, thank yes. you. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. You as well. Uh -huh. Bye. Okay, guys. Uh, I'll do my best to try to explain anything that didn't get caught on video here. So we picked this uh, Jeep up at the Crave golf course it was tagged at noon they had said it'd been there overnight uh, of course rod run weekend you've seen that we towed it away he we've got a gentleman that says well i, I don't know why you picked it up it could you see that it was broke yeah he called um, last night i don't think he got that phone call 
Yeah, I don't think I got that on on phone call. But he called me and said, "Well, I don't know why you towed this, and he's he's upset with us and and yelling. Uh, you you could see that this this vehicle was broke. No, we we couldn't see that it was broke. There was nothing indicating that it was broken. He said the transfer the transmission was out of it, and the rear ends were out of it, but." Again, it was, there was nothing under it. There was no blocks or chocks holding it. It was in neutral, so he just left it in the parking lot in neutral. It could have rolled away and ran over somebody for all we know. But uh, didn't leave a note, didn't tell the golf course that it was broken down, uh, just abandoned it there in their parking lot. They called us for removal. Um, they've kind of given us a hassle here with the, with the pickup now. Um, he's calling me saying that you know it's, it's his, but it's in his dad's name. And uh, and then all of a sudden we get another phone call this morning uh, from a guy that says he's just the transporter. He wants to come pick it up. It's not in his name, but it's he's transporting it for the son. And we still hadn't heard from the dad. Well, finally we got verification from the dad. You just seen he he called us, and uh, so you know we're gonna see if we can get it back to the rightful owners here. So I'm not sure what's going on. It was. It's very sketchy when you got three different people calling you and, and you know nobody can prove that it's theirs and you know it's we don't we just need proof we need proof of ownership you know whether that be the name matching the registration or uh, name matching the title whatever it may be we just need to know that we're giving it back to the rightful owner and this was just a very sketchy situation he one of the guys that's claiming he's a transporter saying i can get power of attorney and i will come and pick this this vehicle up and uh just just kind of uh spouting out all kinds of anything anything that he can do to to pick this up so he said that he'd had it sold uh, one guy was on an airplane. I guess you guys heard that. I think we recorded that I part think of it. So it's just a the, yeah. The owner, the owner was on an airplane. He couldn't pick it up, and I, we got all kinds of stuff. But anyway, uh, luckily we finally gotten boiled down to uh, Dad that has sent us documentation, and and uh, I think we finally got our proof. But he's going to come pick this thing up. Don't know what we're getting into. Hopefully he'll have everything that we requested of him. So stick around might be interesting okay guys uh pulling into the lot we've got the folks here to pick up the jeep hopefully they've got everything that they need i'm not real sure how they're gonna make it happen but yeah as soon as the gate opens up folks want to zoom on in here and before you know it they're right behind you hey man Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. You got keys for the truck, or you? I guess I'll yeah, just bring it out here. It. it don't move. Okay. Um, yeah, if you could bring it out to us, that winch don't work. Then you need to go help us load it up. Uh, I can certainly try. I don't know how close we can get it, but uh, yeah, let me uh, let me see if I can get it up here. I'll scoop it and get it up here for you. Need the key. She'll get you. Uh, I don't think the steering is locked, but it might be. It might help me get it. I think if, uh, I can back it in, um, or if you want, just, or if you can't, I don't know what you're going to do with them, but since I can't really run it, you don't want to be driving all the way back up in there, you could maybe hook it somehow. Yeah, I'll hook it and get it. push it, like, do you have a way that you can maybe push it up? Like, I, we, it yeah, I can definitely try. Um, if let not, me, uh, if not, we can redneck it. I mean, I've had to do it before, but. It, yeah, we'll see if we can, yeah, we'll see if we can get it up on there and, and uh, yeah. It shouldn't be too bad as long as it'll roll for me. I can get it scooped. And you got ramps? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got ramps. Do you, do you want me to pull it down a little further? Just so we got a little bit. Yeah, more. probably a little more room if you can get closer to the end there. I'll see if I can get it ready. Okay, looks like we got our hook. Let's see if we can push it on his trailer. I'm not sure if we'll be able to or not, but we'll certainly try. I guess you want me to try to put it on front ways. Uh, How do you? Um, I tell you what, if you guys want to go straight across into, into that parking lot right there in front of the, that'd probably be easier for me and I'll just do a big, I'll do a big circle there.
takes a couple weeks. I mean, you probably drive that thing home if you crawl under it and put the transfer case back in to drive. No. That's the only thing that's wrong with it yeah. is I was wrong with it? I was like, I can just the transfer case is in neutral. Oh. Crawl under there and stick it in drive. Like you could, you could put it in to drive on the transfer case and I'm sure it'd drive just fine. Just like the you can tell where the, yeah, no, look. you can tell it's flopping because the, the linkage is broke on the. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened to mine. It's held on by zip ties right now. Yeah. It works. Yeah, if you can if you can put new linkage cables or new linkage rods on that, or you can crawl underneath of it and put it into it's just found its way into neutral. That's why it won't go. So it'd be an easy, it'd be an easy fix. Yeah. <laughs> you guys be careful. Uh-huh. 